I have another problem here, the last problem, a situation where if you'll notice uh, the way I've described it in your handout, we have a fella or somebody who's fairly fast starting here, finishing here, and the, d the dimensions that this person can choose from, it's four miles from the start to a road that leads directly toward the finish line. Uh, this person knows that, hey, if I, cu if I cut across the corner here, maybe I can save some time. So actually, instead of going directly to the road and then following the road, cuts off a certain amount of the corner here. And I've described that as being the little x. Uh, cross country, the person can make six miles per hour. On the road, the person can make 10 miles per hour. So it's sort of an incentive to get to the road. But what I'm trying to do now is express the time that this person takes to get from the start to the finish as a function of this dimension, x. OK, let's decide. Again, this is a situation where you have to bring something to the problem. Remember, distance equals speed times time, or time equals distance divided by speed. So somewhere in here, I'm going to have to do that division to figure out the speed, the time, excuse me. There's a certain amount of time associated with the cross country piece, and a certain amount of time committed to the road. This 8 stands for the total distance from this line to the finish. So let's figure out how long. We need to figure out how long the pieces are. This is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So the distance cross country, I'm going to call it CC just for an abbreviation. Well, it's the hypotenuse. This squared plus this squared equals this squared. So the total length of this piece is the square root of 4 squared plus x squared. How much time is devoted to this piece? Well, remember, time is distance divided by speed. So the time associated with the cross country piece is the distance divided by the speed, which is six miles per hour. So there's part of the problem. OK, there's another piece, though. The distance that the person has to run on the road, well, I've cut off some of this eight miles. So the distance on the road is 8 minus x. How long does it take? Well, time is distance divided by speed. So the time spent on that piece is the distance divided by the speed. All the dimensions here are in miles and hours. So these times are in hours. In fact, that's what I asked for, to express the total time required for this run as a function of x. And there's the two pieces. Add them together. Our total time is this piece. Plus the other piece. Looks maybe from the beginning like a fairly complicated problem. It really isn't that big a deal. In your calculus class, you will learn how do I, well, typically people are trying to get there quickly, how do I optimize this? How do I get from point A to point B in the least amount of time? Well, you'll have to wait for your calculus class to figure that one out. But uh, you'll have plenty of time to work on it. But here's the, the fun.